this going. All right, guys. Finally made it down to Chagrin Falls. We got a little cannon over here. Uh, yeah, we're going to see if they respect our First Amendment right to record in public places. But for now, I'll do a little stroll on the fire department just because it's so kind of pretty. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one. Look at those stone pillars they got. You don't see that in every fire department. All right. Let's take this to the real level. Oh, hey, this is kind of interesting. We got this doors open right now. Never really seen in there. That's crazy. I've never been in this big. <laughs> Council's chambers or something. All right. Let's go check out the police department and see what uh, kind of lobby they're working with. The door is locked, but it is not locked. Okay. Well, the purpose of the office needs to be fixed. Let me go on the hill outside the main door. Looks like she is outside. Oh, wow, I can see myself on there. Haha! <laughs> Me in that bottom middle one, funny thing, just like standing there. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Can I help you? Yeah, I was gonna ask if you guys still had a uh, camping ordinance that prohibits uh, camping within the village. As far as I know. Okay, because it used to uh, be permitted at one point, and uh, I just checking up on it. This guy. Okay. Officer will be right with you. Okay, thank you. Mm, it's historical. Yeah, it looks like you're getting an officer out for us, guys. It says there's a restroom up here. So I'd imagine that makes it public access. <laughs> we got, of course. Of course, in the police department, they have that. Of course. All right. Well, hopefully the uh, officer will be with us shortly. I'm going to take a little pause here. All right, guys, we're back outside now. I uh, was waiting there for a while, but they're still eating their donuts. There we go. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, not too bad. It's a nice day. I was uh, just wondering if you guys still had the camping ordinance. Do you want a copy of it? Uh, just wondering if it still existed. I wasn't sure if you guys knew about the, uh, there was like a lawsuit in Cleveland that uh, um, it does allow them, if they're innocent, if they're not breaking any other laws under that, you know. But, uh, you know, like my question was, you, you guys would arrest us if we did camp like tonight, probably. Well... I mean, not necessarily a physical arrest, but it is a charge. I can. I got you. I, yeah, it's it's under the 951 code. If you give me a section, local ordinance, I can let you know what the penalty is. Are. 
Okay, I do. I think it was like a third degree and misdemeanor or something. Something like that. Yeah, I just right don't on. want to give you the wrong information. So. Is there anywhere that's like uh, discreet for us when we play our music? We just like to, you know, uh, stay in the close proximity. I know South Russell also did pass an ordinance prohibiting uh, camping and stuff. So the answer is I don't know. Um, obviously, South Russell, unless we prohibit that. Um, I don't know about Bentleyville. I don't know about uh, Russell or anything like that. Okay, man. Uh, do you want me to get you the exact information on that? or? For now, I'm not going to uh, press it too much. Just wanted to know if anything had changed, really. And then. Uh, What's that Cleveland case? When did that come out? Man, it actually might be an older one, to be honest with you. Okay. But uh, it was one that I discovered. Okay, yeah. And, uh, As of right now, it is on the books, and I do believe it's a misdemeanor of the third degree. So it's not necessarily a physical arrest, but you can get cited with a misdemeanor citation. Don't want that, yeah. And you don't want that. So For sure. my advice to you is just be you or your brother or both of you guys or. Yeah, sometimes we consider there is other. Uh, it's a little further out that we we still do when we come out and play and stuff. For sure. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to play. You know that. So. For sure, man. The First yeah. Amendment. You guys have always been really cool about uh, that. And uh, I wanted to think of anything else. Well, I got you here, man. It's uh, I appreciate you guys always being cordial. And yeah, of course. honestly, uh, I visit so many towns and stuff and do this same thing. And like you guys have really stood out as exceeding in professionalism and. Striving for that. excellence, man. Which one? I'm sorry. Are you Joe? Are you I'm John? Joe. I can't get you guys uh-huh. there. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Joe. For real, yeah, man. I mean, it is what it is. It's on the books right now. So until, until that changes, you know. And yeah, that's, that's the other thing I want to tell you. I understand the other side, like people littering and, you know, uh, just being indecent and stuff in public is, that ain't cool either, man. So. Okay. All right. That's it, man. I appreciate it. Right, I'll see you around. Take it easy. Good seeing you guys. Same goes. Thanks, brother. Right, take care.